It took hundreds of years for scientists to discover all 92 different kinds of atoms that exist. Each kind makes a different substance. Because a substance made of only one kind of atom is called an element, there are 92 elements in the universe. Scientists made a list using the weights of their atoms, starting with the lightest hydrogen, to the heaviest uranium. They gave each element its own number showing its place in this list. Scientists called this its atomic number. So hydrogen must have an atomic number of 1 and uranium an atomic number of 92. Scientists noticed something going along the list of elements. The first two on the list, hydrogen and helium, are both light colourless gases. Although they look alike, when we place a lighted match to hydrogen, it explodes. But when we light up helium, it just puts out the flame. We can say that hydrogen is chemically reactive, whereas helium is chemically unreactive or inert. After helium, there's an abrupt change to lithium, which is a soft, shiny metal. Beryllium is a shiny metal too, but a bit harder. Boron is a brown powder. Then further to the right, the elements become non-metals, often gases, until we reach neon, a colourless gas that is chemically unreactive or inert, like helium. Then another big change to sodium, which is a soft, shiny metal, followed by magnesium and aluminium, which are harder metals. You know what metals are, usually shiny, malleable solids that can conduct electricity. Following these three metals comes silicon, which is a semi-metal and not so conductive. Further to the right are four non-metals, which don't conduct electricity at all. Phosphorus, sulphur, which are brittle solids, and chlorine and argon, which are gases. Hmm, argon is another inert, colourless gas. Then yet another abrupt change to the soft, shiny metal, potassium. The next 12 elements are metals, all the way to gallium. Semi-metals germanium and arsenic are followed by non-metals selenium, bromine and krypton. Krypton is yet another colourless inert gas. So, can you guess what kind of element rubidium is? It's a soft, shiny metal, of course. This is getting repetitive. Another word for repetitive is periodic. That's how the periodic table got periodic in its name. 
The point where one cycle ends and the next one starts is where an inert colourless gas meets a soft shiny metal. Are there any more of these? This is interesting. Can you spot another break? It's between the colourless inert gas and the shiny metal. That means between Xenon-54 and Cesium-55. Notice that the breaks seem to be getting further apart. And there are more metals and not so many non-metals between the breaks. This is the last colourless inert gas on the list, called radon. We can't show the elements beside it, astatine and francium, because they're so rare that there isn't enough on Earth to see them. But scientists can guess that francium is a soft metal because it follows a colourless inert gas. That last one's familiar. Mr. Uranium, pleased to meet you. And now we'll back up so that we can see them all, even though the names and symbols are too small to see. Here are the six line breaks that split an inert, colourless gas and a shiny metal. Now watch this. Scientists divided the long line of elements into seven shorter lines at the breaks and put them under each other. This is the birth of the seven horizontal rows of the periodic table. Each row ends with an inert colourless gas. Because these gases are so similar, they form a kind of family and are put underneath each other in the same column. Each element after the inert gas is a soft, shiny metal and starts the next row. Then, from left to right, all rows except the first one repeat the same pattern. They start with metals on the left, then move to semi-metals in the middle, then finish with non-metals on the right, with the last non-metal being an inert colourless gas. Another word for repeating is periodic. Because the arrangement of elements is now in rows and columns, it should also be called a table. The periodic table of the elements. <laughs>